Hello y'all and welcome to another battle report. Uh, so we decided to do a mini tournament at the club. So I got um, matched up against the Dwarven Holds. And the scenario is uh, called the center line, I think it's called. You know the one when you take the center and get victory points for it. So I decided to go with um, from furthest away. In this picture, I got the treb in the corner, another treb uh, in my back line. Then I got the unit of fast cab, unit of um, aspiring knights with a crusade upgrade, a unit of peasant crusader, a big bus of uh, peasant levy, 60 of them with my great early queen. Um, they got spear and command. Then another 60 man unit of uh, Levy this one with a Castellan, so to give the unit a visiting charge, I also throw the Castellan, the Rubring, to have Fireball, and they also got the Command, but Helvert this time. Then I got a uh, other a Knight's Sprint, who got the Crusader upgrade, and I decided to deploy my BSP in that unit to get him protection from the cannonballs. And in front of them I got my hard-hitting Nice forlorn unit, they got the plus one leadership banner, as well as my general who got virtue of audacity, so he is uh, stubborn and reroll to hit and to wound if he's in base contact with anything with strength or toughness 5, which I think is a very good combination. Uh, he also got the sword of might, uh, grey loaf, so fire board, dragon cloak to give him a two up armor save, so he's okay defensively. Then I got my bunker unit of archer with my level 2 of white. Um, she got an extra spell from arcane lore and a level 1 wild with a scroll. In front of them I scouted my brigade units because there were not really much other place I could deploy them. And finally two units of fast calves. So for the dwarven holds he got a unit of uh, miners uh, with standard musician and pistols I think and they are ambushing then you get the unit of greybeards with standard and musician um, they had the opportunity to vanguard uh, they also got the throwing axe if i'm not mistaken then you get the unit of clansman standard musician with the great weapon in his uh, back line he got two cannons uh, both have the rune upgrade so they can only suffer the mildest of misfire and an anvil of power then he got uh, two copters and one bomber uh, in front of that he got the king's guard unit with command a rune lord with a scroll and a four up ward i don't remember what he got more uh, some plus to the spell i think then he got a bsb uh, in his unit of uh, marksmen i think they also have the standard and the musician combo they got the bsp got vanguard and a four up ward and then you got the unit of rangers with crossbow and standard and musician and that's his list for my spell i choose beast within and uh, then i pretty much uh, keep the spell i got i rolled a one two and a three um, and I think all of these spells are very good. Uh, Phoenix Rises, Guiding Hand and Hidden Path is a very good spell, so I kept them for this game. And the Dwarf player started with a mighty moment. You can see he had vanguarded up his marksmen a bit, so they are within 24 inches of my Knights Forlorn. And his uh, Greybeard unit have moved up to throw access at my vanguarded up fast cab. Well, in shooting phase, his greybeard managed to either kill all of my fast cab or just uh, panic them off the board. And you can see here the Knights for Lore units have suffered some heavy losses from the marksman and the ranger fire, uh, but his cannon actually misses my trebuchet. And of course, for my turn, I pushes up. Um, I charged his greybeard with my sparring knights because I wanted um, to hold them up for a turn and I think he will not kill all three of them and I will do some heavy damage to him the first turn so hopefully I can win that combat he will be steadfast leadership 9 I think they got but I will hold them up 
Uh, then I just pushes up my ranks with peasant, and uh, that's it for my movement. Shooting didn't do much. Um, I think I do some damage to his marksman with my bowman, but otherwise not too much. And uh, magic now. Nah. Combat, I did manage to do some heavy damage to him. I actually think I won this, but he was dead fast and stuck. He killed two of my knights, and I'm still holding him up, so that's good. So for his second turn, he flies over here, lay down the bomb on my fast cab, uh, kill four of them, but he cannot lay more bombs because he rolls a six, and I panic and run away. But uh, it didn't panic the other peasant who he ran through. And actually not much more happened in his turn. He's shooting, did some damage to my unit but not too much. Um, now his greybeard actually broke my knight, didn't kill him, broke him thanks to combat dress. And he's running away and he will run off the board next turn so it doesn't really matter too much. Well, um, for my turn um what he did actually he pushes he, he have his um, steam copter in front of my peasant levy for his turn and i charge the first copter it fled then i charge the other one it fled as well so i choose to pursue one of them and i ended up one inch away from his um king's guard uh, i rolled pretty high so i yeah that's where i ended up then I pushes up my spearman a bit. I'm not too afraid of getting a flank shot because I'm thinking uh, incorrectly that I'm steadfast if he shot me in the flank. So I will uh, hold his unit up and uh, if his um, clansman shot me in the flank I will hold them as well and then counter charge him in the flank for my turn. Uh, so that is the plan at least and I have my general with my BSP within 12 inches so the ship's hand reroll this should be no problem for me I do in the magic phase actually move my brigade unit so they're blocking his ranger from flank charging my peasant levy in the other flank so I don't get sandwich uh, so it could potentially kill enough to break my steadfast um, but that's basically what I managed to do for my turn. Uh, you can also see my Crusader have moved up to chef up his uh, Greybeard from doing much next turn. And yeah, I think I forgot to mention his miner popped up behind my mage bunker. And uh, so what I did is I took my mages out of the unit, put them into my Knights Forlorn unit. Uh, and he shot my archer with the miner. Um, I fled, then he charged me with my bomb, his bomber, I fled again, but this time towards his miner, and both his bomber and his miner actually managed to catch him archer, so they ended up over there in his turn number 3. And you can see here, he has done a lot of charges, his greybeard charges my crusader, hopefully I can hold him up for one turn, even without the... I'm 15... Fi no, I think I'm still within 6 inch of the relic quest, so I have the ward shape. Uh, his ranger charges my um, brigade unit, his king's guard charges my live in the front, and his um, clansmen charge me in the flank. And um, yeah, he must push it up his marksmen who are almost dead from shooting um, to stop my. Um, Knights Forlorn from doing anything too hurtful if you would break them and overrun too short. He, he still need a very very long overrun to make it into my Knights Forlorn. I think it's a 9 or 10 or something like that so it isn't. Even if I would break it isn't too too likely. He did first of all get off a very brutal magic phase. I think he gets both distracting and uh, Reroll two wounds on his king's guard, um, which unfortunately for me I should probably use my scroll. But he did a very low roll, I think roll nine in total, and I will get plus two. And I took three dice, and I didn't manage to get the seven needed. So um, he had magic dominance, and his cannon now have fire off one of my 
trap and the other one had misfire and cannot fire for the rest of the game. And first of all, this unit holds. He killed, uh, let's see, seven of them, but there are three remaining. Uh, so that's good. Of course, the brigade does not, but he only killed, managed to kill six of them. That's a plus. So they can actually rally pretty easily next turn. And now the shit starts happening. Uh, so first of all, his uh, now we re I realize when he told me that you cannot be steadfast if you are hit in the flank uh, with some unit with two or more ranks. And his clansman does have two or more ranks, so I'm not steadfast. I think I lost by like eight, so I was down to a snake guys. I didn't roll the snake guys. He rolled for pursuit. His um, king's guard rolled at nine or ten which he needed to get into my Knight Forlorn uh, but it's at least my turn so I can hopefully get some good buffs up on them and his clansmen overrun into my uh, peasant levy with spears and uh, yeah that was his turn 3 and well not much happened in my turn you can see this is most of my army actually on this picture my brigade rallies uh, my BSB is standing behind to give up real leadership. He whiffed pretty good with his King's Guard. I whiffed pretty good with my Knights for Honor, so we killed like two or three guys each. Uh, I said challenge with my General, uh, and he accepted it with his General, the Rune Lord. Unfortunately, after that, he realized that if, if he's in a challenge with his Rune Lord, who got, uh, I think, Toughness 5, I'm stubborn and can actually reroll. Um, all hits towards him, so he need to kill my lord in uh, challenge to actually break him. And his um, rune lord isn't too good at fighting, to be honest. And uh, yeah, so that's good at least. Um, the peasant levy die some. I killed maybe a couple of dwarf, but uh, yeah, of course he also killed my crusader. And uh, yeah, that's it for my turn three. So to the dwarf player turn four. So my peasant levy get flank charged by his um, greybeard, and my um, aspiring knights get flank charged by his bomber. Uh, he couldn't do any wounds to me, so I reform like that to get a rank bonus and a BSP. So I'm leading by two each combat. So we need pretty much need to kill. Um, one to actually uh, win that combat and that's good um, and now his king's guard didn't whiff he killed a crap ton of my guys i didn't do too many damage on him i did get off the plus weapon skill bonus uh, but to kill my damsels he killed everyone except two of my guys and my general suffered two wounds in the challenge which is unfortunate uh, with a combat with a spearman, it goes much better. Uh, I managed to kill some clansmen in the front, and I'm not even sure if I lost that combat, but maybe. Um, but anyway, I we all stick around for another turn. And I actually only got this picture. And uh, this is after my combat turn 5. Uh, he have killed everyone except my general, but he sticks in combat. He have done no damage to the aspiring knights. Uh, but his clansmen up top are taking some heavy losses, so hopefully I can win that combat at least. And yeah, his turn 6, he did manage to kill off my general in charge with the rune lord. Um, but I did manage to kill off uh, one of his clansmen. And that's basically how we ended the game for, because in my turn 6, I did not manage to break his graveyard, unfortunately. And my Aspiring Knights did manage to get rid of that Bomber, which was good. And unfortunately it ended up being a big loss for the Kingdom, uh, this game unfortunately. Uh, I don't remember the exact regular points, but I think he won by like 1700-ish. Uh, it's a 19-1 anyway. Uh, so that's it. Uh, it was a brutal loss for the Kingdom. Um, it was actually a stupid error on my part of not knowing the rule for steadfast, but uh, yeah, you live and learn. 
you live and learn. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions, ask them below. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Feel free to like and start subscribing if you haven't already. And have a nice one.